Little Red Pen by Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Crumble. Let's get to work. The Little Red Pen whirled about, checking, circling, and marking out. Oh no, she's at it again. Don't move. Shh, I'm not helping anymore. Yeah, too risky. Silencio. There's too much to do. Where are my helpers? Stapler, scissors, pencil, eraser, pushpin, highlighter. Are you hiding in the drawer? Get up here now. If the papers aren't graded, the students won't learn. The school might close. The walls might tumble. The floors might crumble. The sky might fall. It might be the end of the world. Who will help me save the world? Not I. Not I. Not I. What? Not I. Yonna. Why not? My back is killing me. Everybody keeps pounding on it. I could break. I write all day. And what do I get? Sharpened down to a nub. Who needs a nub? Don't call me Pushpin. My name is Senorita Chinchetta, and I am La Elman Altima Chinchetta. If I get lost, no more Chinchettas, comprende? I've been getting cut off all day. I'm getting dull. Not good for a sharp guy like me. What was the question? I forget everything. My head is shrinking. I'm bright, not crazy. Remember Mr. Felt Tip Marker? His cap was left off and you know where he ended up. The pit of no return, everyone cried. The dream. Rubbish, the little pen frowned. You can't spend your life hiding, worrying about the pit. There's work to be done, and I need help. Well, big bossy ballpoint says, said Scissors, why don't you ask Tank? He'd be a huge help. Tank? That lazy hamster? Never, said the little red pen. The papers must be graded. I'll have to do it all by myself. And so she did. Well, she tried. Scritch, scratch, scritch. The little pen read, the little red pen worked long into the night in the wee hours of the morning. She could barely move across the page. She wibbled, she wobbled. Then she fell over exhausted. The little red pen began to roll right to the edge of the desk. Yonk. What was that? yelled Safler. The sky is falling, cried Pencil. It's the end of the world. No, it's not, said Highlighter. It's probably Tank moving around in his cage. Scissors rolled his eyes. No way, big boy never moves. It is the end, said Pencil. I heard Pen say it. We are, what are we going to do? We're going up, snipped Scissors. Get the lead out, Stubby. Yeah, said Eraser. Let's go, go. Where are we going? I forgot. To the desktop, Chinchetta shouted. Vamos, arriba, arriba. Ay, caramba, muchos papers. Pen's gone, cried Pencil, and the papers aren't finished. The students won't learn. It's the end of the world. It is not the end of the world, muttered, muttered Stapler. How do we know for sure, asked Highlighter. The papers have always been graded. Who knows what will happen if they are not? I know, said Eraser. What, they all glared. I forgot. Scissor shook his head. The end of the world could be worse than the pit. The papers must be graded. We'll have to do it ourselves. And so they did. Well, they tried. Scissors grabbed a paper. No capital letter. Clip. Dot the I. Snip. Not like that, Stapler groaned. 
You cut it to shreds. Let me do it. Eraser hop, hop on. I see a misspelled word. Bam, this sentence needs a verb. Bam, this whole paragraph is wrong. Bam, 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 bam. Not like that, said a highlighter. Too many staples. Let me do it. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Not like that, eraser squinted. Too bright. Let me do it. Rubbity rub, smudgety smudge. Not like that, numbskull, said scissors. You erased everything, even the student's name. Whose paper is this? I forgot, moaned eraser. This is terrible. A catastrophe. Que disaster. Awful. What now? It's the end of the world. Who will help us save the world? I will. They rushed to the edge of the desk. Oh no, whispered Eraser. Pen is in the, the, el paso de no retorno, shouted Chinchetta. Pencil broke down. What are we going to do? We need her. The papers aren't graded. The students won't learn. Then they, oh, stop it already, Stapler grumbled. I hate to be blunt, says Scissors, but she's a goner. No one comes back from the pit. Not so fast. I have a bright idea, said Highlighter. Paper clip box, where are you? Give me your clips. Can't have them, Box scowled. Without my clips, I'm empty. Useless, I'll end up in the... Out with the clips, yelled Highlighter. We need a chain. One by one, the paper clips marched out and hooked together. I know what to do. Eraser grabbed the chain and raced across the desktop. Then he forgot to stop, bounced off the edge, and clunk. Hey, everybody, guess who's down here in the pit? The little red pen. Uh, what's her face? We know, rubber noggin. Now you're both in the pit. I have another bright idea, said a highlighter. Eraser, grab the little red pen. We'll pull you both up. Ready, everybody? She's pushing. Well, I'm a push pin. We have to pull, not push. How about I push you all into the pit? Enough, let's pull. One, two, three. Arr! Two heavy scissors panted. Any more bright ideas? Yes, cried Highlighter. The hamster wheel will hook the chain to the wheel. Then Tank will run, the wheel will turn. The chain will, whoa, scissors cut in. Tanky boy hasn't been on the wheel in years. Besides, how are we going to get from here to there? Ruler, can you be our bridge, declared Highlighter. What, me, a bridge? Roller snapped, I'm not budging an inch. Move it, yelled Highlighter. Oh, all right. Roller stretched out farther, farther, one more inch, half an inch, clunk. Oh, great, three in the pit. Need some help? Yardstick, I thought you were broken and down in the, the pit, yardstick. Nobody throws me in the pit. I may be shorter now, but I'm tall enough to hold up this plant and long enough to be your bridge. Yardstick stretched out farther and farther. One more inch, half an inch, he made it. Everybody dashed across, but Pencil froze. I, I, I'm afraid. Aw, oh, come on, Pencil, you can do it, said Stapler. Don't look down. Sharpener peeked out from under a pile of papers. I'll help you. Ah, Pencil took one look at Sharpener and bolted across. They opened the cage door and crept inside. Highlighter hooked the paper clip chain to the wheel. Okay, grab Tank, we're hauling him over. Hamster grande, Chinchita grun, muy grande. They huffed and they puffed until finally they pulled Tank onto the wheel. Highlighter took a deep breath. Wake up, Tank, run! 
Chinchita smiled. I can wake him up. Poke, roar! Tankzilla, Pencil shrieked. It's the end of the world. Run, he's after us. I'm running in circles. Where's Tank? Who knows? Just keep going. Hey, the wheel is turning. Creak. Around and around, faster and faster, the wheel turned, the chain moved. Up, up, up. Up came the roller. Up came the racer. Up came the little red pen. Up came long lost Mr. Felt Tip Marker. It worked, shouted Highlighter, and we did it all by ourselves. Chinchita clapped, bravo. Did we save the world, asked Pencil. The little red pen beamed, you saved us, but now, now, said Eraser, we have a job to finish. You didn't forget, everyone yelled, let's get to work. And so they did. They checked and stapled, organized and alphabetized, piled and filed without another thought of running low, becoming dull, drying up, getting lost, breaking down, or landing in the pit until the job was done. The world was safe and no one hid in the drawer ever again. Except you know who.